Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, the Atari Flashback Classics of Volume 1. I've also got Volume 2. And for whatever reason, I've never got round to playing this. So, this is actually my first look at this. So, as you can see here, it looks like we've got the original arcade games first of all Luna Lander Space Jewel Temptus oh man what a game that is we'll, we need to give that a bit of a go Warlords can't remember that every book has played Pong Millipede Centipede and Action Force Liberates it but let's just have a look at the others and look at this selection. Wow. Oh, I like the way they've done this. So obviously you've got what would have been the original box art spinning away there. Combat. What a game. What a game. Desert Falcon. That's a really good game, but it is better on the... Is it the 5800? I hope so. <laughs> oh man, look at all these. Backgammon, there's the classic centipede. Certainly better on the arcade machine, that'll be. Dodge him. Fatal run. Basketball, blackjack, combat. What a great game that is, combat. Oh god, I see myself playing it now. Football, bit of a <laughs> football on the 2600. Oh, it's got to be good for a laugh. Where are we? Oh, sorry. Home run. Well, as you can see, there is quite a lot of the old... And... <sighs> There's a load of us out there that still say retro. I mean, this is older than retro now, surely. Vintage? Is it fair to say vintage? Millipede. Box art. I love it. Pong Sports. Real Soccer. Sprint Master. Let's get up the top. Yars Revenge. What a great game. What's that? Sword Quest. Each World. Fire World. Water World. Oh, interesting. Steeple Chase. And even after these games, I've never played myself. Warlords, Tempest 2600. That would be interesting. I might just start with that one. Oh, cool. Somebody messaging me. Great timing, that is. Let's have a look. Oh, it's Pam. Let's just put the phone on silent so we don't get any more pings. Look at the box up. Seriously, box art is incredible. You don't get box art like this anymore. And if you can find it, in the majority of my games, my physical games on the 2600, are really all loose cartridge, because that's how you find a lot of them. There's not a huge amount of boxes out there, but you can still get them. You can still get them. Right. So, I'm tempted to try Temptus, so play manual, multiplayer, oh cool, what's this do, oh I see, that just does the pages as well, let's give Temptus, oh my god, what the hell am I doing here, right, <laughs> we've got a virtual console there, look at that, we're going to be in black and white or colour, <laughs> triangles, the power, oh, Game reset. Oh, God. I'm not doing too bad. That's the next level. 
Oh, I whoop straight into that. Oh, thank you for the ups update. <sighs> oh, got me again. I'm running out of lives really quick. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Did you get me then? Yeah, got me. <laughs> oh, my word. Right. Oh, I see. Look, power off. Power on. Unbelievable. I haven't got a clue how to get back. Is it options? No. Ah, there you go. Main menu. Console? Oh, go, I see. Right, main menu. <laughs> Warlords. I can't even remember how to play it. It's a... Oh, I think I remember this now. Oh, this is an excellent game. Right, you've got to protect. Oh my god, look how bloody quick this is! I'm half glad it's not coming my way. It soon will do. Right, basically this game has been remade god knows how many times. You've got to protect your walls, but the second that that ball hits the bit in the middle, lost it, got it, it's game over. So you've got to be... Oh, you've got to be the last one you've just got to keep your walls up I put that back Jesus that was fast here we go that's one, one out oh I could be next out here gotta keep me on it now oh, plug it Very simple game. Such a fun game. I thought that was me done that. Come on. No. Gotta protect you all. Oh, down the last two. Come on, Billy boy. missed it. Gotta wait for the ball to sort itself out. Oh no! Oh, swine. Got me. <laughs> so you can see, it's now 1-0. Oh, I can't, can't touch it. There we go. Oh, that wasn't good. Keep missing it. This is so much faster than the original console. This is a ridiculously fast speed. I don't remember it being it this quick. That's it. Nice and slow. I can deal with that. at this ball. It's like ball, look at it. It's a square block. <laughs> Oops, couldn't see that then for a second. Come on, get him out. He's out. Oh no, he survived it. Oh my god, I was supposed to go. Oh, back to the main menu. <laughs> Stunt cycle. What the hell's that about? So what? Let's give Yars revenge a call. A call? Listen to me. Right. Try to remember how the hell I play this now. Oh, 
always got that like beam chasing you no matter what. Oh, so don't go into it. <laughs> and I think we've just got to shoot that thing. when that's in there it's very difficult to see no I don't think I'm playing it properly obviously no don't know what I'm doing can't remember the game I'm have to look that one up again Let's move on. Let's pick something else. Maybe. Slot machine. It's going to be what it is, isn't it? Radar lock. That sounds interesting. Oh, I think I remember this. Oh my god. That's it, yes. It's almost like a Wow. They were very clever in what they did, the guys of the time back in the day. And it looks like this game is pulled something like this out of the back on a 2600. It's absolutely incredible. It's a feat within itself. I mean, look at it. It does look like I'm flying. You know, up, down. You know, obviously black, higher, lower. You've got the odd cloud coming in. Enemy spaceships. Or whatever you do. This is so much fun. Yes, it's primitive, I get that. But bear in mind, it was not about the graphics back then. It was all about gameplay. And that's something a lot of modern games do actually. Just don't have They don't have great gameplay. They have fantastic graphics, don't get me wrong. Oh my god, I've got to that. Yeah, they're fantastic graphics, don't get me wrong. But they don't have great gameplay. Right. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. Now. Or what I'm supposed to be doing. I think. Oh, I see. If you get that right, that's how you get your fuel. So worry. Go on, let's move on. Great little gang though. Uh, human cannonball. Let's have a look at the millipede. Now we're talking. I can't remember it was. Oh, do we move forward? I think we have to dodge the spider, do we? Yes. See how fast and difficult the game can be. 
Don't know what that does. Oh, I keep dying. You get the idea of the game. You're supposed to obviously kill that millipede with its way down. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I just wanted to get the bloody spider out of the way. Need to get that one. Got it. We're off again now. Oh. No. Oh, I could see them all getting to there. Need to move them. Give it another go. Uh oh. Oh, got it. Missed it. Fast, very frantic game. Loads of fun. Can't go wrong with some of these old classics. Oh, yes, the graphics are pants, I get it. But still, a lot of fun. Let's go to the next page. What have we got here? We've got the classic centipede. Oh, sorry, combat. The classic combat. Oh, tanks. Oh, yes. Right, now, there was a way of changing the game on this. Let's just see if I can... Now, look at that. Black or white? Or colour? <laughs> I remember seeing that for the first time. Because when I first played on a 2600, believe it or not, it was... And this is going to sound really alien to a lot of people out there. It was played on a black and white old school television and it was the type where obviously all modern day tallies now tune in channels and you just push a button and it's there well this didn't you had a little knob that you had to twist and turn slowly to find the television channel and then i remember that some of the televisions when they improved them you still had to tune them but you could push a button and it would sort of save that so if you wanted to then go back to a previous channel you'd have to manually physically push this button in and it was a mechanical mechanism and then if it, if it wasn't quite tuned in you just give it a bit of fine fettling on the knob there and tune it in right well let's have it in color because we can uh That's it, select game. There you go, see, you could have everything was different. Tank pond, invisible tank, that's a hard one. And then you have biplanes. I'll come to biplanes in a minute because they were loads of fun. Absolutely. And then you have jets. We'll do that as well. Let's just get back to tanks we'll go on that one and this was it obviously I've not got some people but you get the idea this is you moving your tank <laughs> and you'd slowly try and get your opponent I mean obviously this is going to be too easy because I can't play against a computer we didn't have computers back then did we and that's how 
And the noise is... Oh god, the noise is taking me right back. Again, you only had to score up to ten and that was it, you were the win. Oh god, go blind in the noise. The noise is incredible. Show you the planes. See, <laughs> <laughs> so you get the idea. You can hide in the clouds, obviously. This is a great game. So many hours of fun. Such a simple game that brings so much joy. Loves the jets. Jets are just fast. Speed up, slow down. It's not the same game. The playability was fantastic. Because you play against you know, your mum, your dad half the time. These are games that they could quite easily play. See what I did there? I don't know if I, and you, you could bend your bullets. Because the bullets, and it does it on this. I can't believe it does this. As I turn, you watch the bullet turn. <laughs> Just brilliant. Oh. Let's move on. Right. So that was combat. Combat 2. Let's have a quick look at that. Because I never really played this combat 2. Oh, hang on. Yes, I did. Because obviously those were bridges. Look at that. Slow yourself down this time. Well, that's the same. But obviously, you have to go across the bridge. Otherwise, you could go in the water, but it's just really slow. <laughs> I love it. What else did they have? Players place trees. Oh, God. So you can do your own levels almost. Brick walls, random trees. Let's come off it. Tic Tac Toe, maybe not. Blackjack, I don't, I don't remember uh, a lot of these. Centipede, I think, was the more popular game out of the two. But it's, effectively, it's the same. So you can move. I think I remember this one. There we go. Just missed it. Oh, just missed it again. Oh, unbelievable! Just the noises are taking me right back. Absolutely incredible. Right. What should we, what shall we play? I'll tell you what, let's show you Warlords, which was actually on the arcade machine. As you can see now straight away, 
it is a lot different, but the game is basically the same. As you can see, it's just super fast. This is the arcade version. You've got to protect your king from within his walls. And I thought this was a brilliant game. Very simple. If you think about it, it's a pong game. So all this is, is a pong game. You've got the ball, you're just bouncing around. And that's it. Oh god, this is so bloody hard to uh, hit the ball properly. Very crafty. Oh, caught that one. Oh, come on, you bugger. Now, I'll have to look to see whether or not it is possible to play any of this online. That would be different. Classic Atari games online. Oh, God. Wraps two of these things now. I certainly aren't doing great. Because my wall is about to be penetrated. And nobody likes to be penetrated. Ah, well, nuts. <laughs> Main menu. Right, so that was Warlords. Tem Tempest, there we go, the classic game, the original game. Now, Jeff Minter, as you all know from Llamasoft, did a lot of ports of this game. And I think this is a particularly brilliant game. Yes, I'm going to pick Novice. Oh my god, that's not a particularly clever start. <laughs> used to have a spinning from what I can remember. Anybody remember the spinning wheel? Oh, God blimey. Say wheel. It was more like a knob that you would just spin and you push your fire button. Let's go again. Oh, I just can't get it. Got me. So you get to the top, you got to keep out of the way. Then. Next level. Wow. suppose. Oh, got me. Sorry, I've gone all quiet. It's probably the furthest I've ever gotten on this. Oh, got me. Game over. What a brilliant game that is. Absolute classic. And obviously, the latest one is out on the PlayStation 4. Whether or not you can still purchase it, within the UK I don't know when I picked it up I had to get mine imported from the States hey ho right we'll do one more what shall we do Black Widow I can't remember Lunar Lander I 
think that is the one where you have to. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking of thrust, I am. You, Luna Lander. I remember having that on a cartridge. <laughs> on the Commodore 64. Oh, unbelievable. Right, let's try this one Space Duel. Oh my god, what the heck am I doing? This is like, to a point, an absolute souped up version of asteroids, I suppose. It just looks brilliant. Same colour. Right, let's get over there. Oh. I'm just wondering, am I supposed to collect that? No, you're not. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I missed it. Something done. I mean, can you imagine going the arcades the first time and seeing this? It just blow your mind. I suppose that's what it was like back then. are still pretty good today. This is still a lot of fun. Very challenging. Oh, God, blimey, got me. Game over. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit of a trip down memory lane. This is Flash Back Classics from the Atari Volume 1 and I'm playing this on the Commodore it's on the Commodore 64. What am I on? I'm not even drunk. I've had literally two sips of bloody beer. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4. I have also got Flashback Classics Volume 2 but um, I might play some more of this for you another time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Catch you all again. Take care.